Alright, hey what's up guys, it is me African Hair God. This is going to be a short and sweet video, um, not a rant, not just, just getting on here and talking, that's all. Um, it's late, I'm hungry, so we ain't gonna waste any time with the bullshit, we just gonna get straight into the point. I'm gonna make my point and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat my food and go to bed. So. There's no water jug needed for this. Like I said, we cutting out the bullshit and we just gonna, let's just jump into it. So, I, I don't know. The, the spirit just came to me tonight and was like, you have to get on and make this video. So, I've been seeing a lot of people experiencing issues with their hair from going to other stylists. I've been seeing a lot of people on here give a lot of misinformation and I've kind of come to this realization when it comes to hair care and what that hair care means to people. Um, everyone has their own kind of take on hair care but and I guess what prompted this video is I've seen not just one video in particular, but I was watching one video in particular that kind of incited this video. But I've been seeing more than just that video. There's been other videos of people saying, oh, well, you know, I have heat damage or my client has heat damage and I'm going to put this treatment on it and I'm going to heat style it and self-press it out with more heat. And it's going to repair their hair because the problem is not that heat was used on her hair that caused heat damages. It was too much heat. It was excessive heat. So if you just use the right amount, it's not going to further damage her hair and it's going to allow her hair to be healthy. That doesn't make any sense. That, that, that... I'm kind of, I'm not upset about it. I guess I am kind of upset, but I'm kind of sad because people truly honestly believe that bullshit. Like people really truly believe like people feel like hair is just this inanimate object that you know, you just slap something on or put this amount of heat or this amount of product and it it'll do whatever the hell you want it to do. And honestly, I don't feel like hair is that way. When, as a natural hair care professional, I view and look at hair differently than most other stylists. Because what we as natural hair care professionals do and what other stylists do is two completely different things. And I came to that realization last, t tonight actually, when I was sitting there thinking about this stylist, this licensed stylist telling people that it's okay to heat style, heat damaged hair as long as you use the right amount of heat. The thing is, and I, I guess I'm so upset because I've seen so many people go to salons and had stylists tell them this same thing like oh as long as we use the right amount of heat and we use this product and this deep conditioner and this protein treatment everything is going to be fine and they come and sit in our chair and I'm, I'm just I'm tired of seeing women sit in our salon and I'm tired of seeing them just break down and start crying and, and, and are upset and are just distraught over their hair being damaged and them basically becoming victim to this this false idea of oh I'm going to take care of your hair just trust me and then they just jack up their hair like I'm just I'm tired of seeing it and it makes it makes me sad to sit there and watch so many women come in our salon and break down like that because it, it's just it's unnecessary what makes natural hair care professionals differ from other stylists is that we are working with the hair. Like, we allow the hair to tell us what it wants to do, what it can do, and what it will do. And we work with that. When we twist, when we braid, when we curl, when we coil, when we... Anything that we do in its natural state, and we're styling and working with hair in its natural state, without the hair addition, without all the extra stuff... You aren't altering the hair in any way. You aren't 
damaging the hair in any way. You're just kind of sculpting and molding and forming the hair into what you want it to do and what it will do. But these other stylists, when you are blow drying, when you are flat ironing, when you are hot combing, when you are curl ironing, when you are using hair color, when you are using relaxers, when you are using perms, you're not working with the hair. You're working against what the hair naturally wants to do and the natural tendencies of the hair. And any time that you do that, you are damaging the hair. You're damaging it. When you apply heat to the hair, you're damaging it. When you apply relaxer to the hair, you're damaging it. When you apply hair color to the hair, you're damaging it. Because you are taking the hair out of its natural form and trying to force it into something that it isn't naturally going to do. Like, we don't do that. And I guess that's why my perspective on hair care is different from other stylists. Because... They don't really see hair the same way that I do. That's why they need... The, I, I didn't understand why we as natural hair care professionals could get away with doing these bomb-ass styles and not needing a lot of product. And they have to use the most expensive, all these different types of products and breaking the bank. Because they need that shit. If they didn't have those products, if they didn't have these expensive top and, ex, you know, top of the line salon professional quality products... They wouldn't be able to get the hair to do the things that they're trying to get it to do. But at our salon, we don't need that shit. It's crazy. We don't we don't need any of that shit. All we use is some fucking oil, some grease, goddamn you might get some leave-in conditioner or some moisturizer. And you and you we, we good. Like we just we styling your hair, twisting you up, braiding you up, and you out the door. Like, and it's crazy because I've always wondered why our clients, they never need deep conditioning. It's crazy. If you come to our salon and you ask any of our clients, they come in and get the basic shampoo condition and style and they out the door. We don't see them for a couple of weeks, maybe three or four. They come back and we just repeat the process and their hair is thriving and we never have to decondition, we never have to do a hydration treatment, we never have to do a protein treatment unless it's some other stuff going on, but we never have to do those things and now I've realized why that is. Because everything that we're doing is working with the hair and allowing the hair to flourish and everything that the other stylists are doing is damaging and breaking down the hair to the point where they have to do these these protein treatments, they have to do these deep conditioning sessions, they have to do these hydration treatments, they have to do these different things because they're not taking care of the hair, they're damaging it. And I mean, that's what some people want for their hair and that's fine if that's what you want, but I'm, I'm just, I don't know, I just kind of came to this realization tonight and it's crazy because it's, it's so simple. And I, I don't know why I just didn't think of this before, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of enlightening. But I, I guess the whole point of this video was just to kind of share that and to also make people more aware of the potential damage and misinformation that's out there regarding heat damage. And heat. You can't repair heat damage with more heat. Like... Anytime you're working against the hair, you're, you're damaging it. You might not see it right then and there. You might not see it all at once. But you are going to see it eventually. You're going to see it at some point or another. Because you're literally just slowly breaking down the hair little by little. And it's, it's, it's going to show itself eventually. Um, but I guess that was the whole point of this video. Because at this point, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But um, please share your thoughts below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I just had to get that off my chest. I feel better now. I, I'm so happy. I'm going to go to bed and have a good night rest. I just know it. So y'all have a good night, good day, whatever time of the day it is. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, be blessed. Bye.